Calculate the area of regular heptagon given one side equal to five. Let's just go ahead and jot down that one side is equal to five. And we know heptagon means seven sides. Let's go ahead and make sure we have a seven sided figure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, 360 divided by seven is equal to 51.4 approximately. So dividing the central angle by two, we get 25.7 approximately. All right, from the center, go ahead and draw in this right triangle. Here's my 90, okay? And we know one side is five, so take five, <clears throat> divide by two is 2.5, that goes here, 2.5. We have to find the apothem. Again, we're using tangent. Let's put this measurement here from our acute angle. So 25.7. We're still using tangent because these are the two sides that we're working with. Tangent 25.7 degrees is equal to, <clears throat> remember, opposite divided by adjacent. We should have this memorized, opposite adjacent. So 2.5 over x comma x okay let's see what happens if we because I round it okay rounding early affects our overall answer so if I menu the uh, this again menu 3 1 that and put arrow up get all of that decimal place for that degree right let's see what happens okay equals control divide 2.5 2 over x comma x okay so 5.19 okay we're okay so we're going to round to 5.19 is the apothem okay so x is 5.19 remember to uh, find the area so one half times 5.19 let me go ahead and use parentheses here because i have a decimal and then times remember the perimeter is what we have to find so five times seven is 35 okay so 35 and that'll find the area don't forget that the perimeter the perimeter is equal to five times seven okay